Welcome to another episode of Tea Time where we bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co anchor to me. Okay, my co anchor. You feel low or shrunk here? What's good? What's good? <laughs> what's good? I'm all right. She's here How with us in spirit. Hi, what's up, Ife? Ah. What did you say hello to Ife? To who? Ife. I, I spoke with her already. I said hello to her. So I don't need a superficial Ife. If you are there, get up and go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's start with um, the early in the general show. The workplace environment is under investigation following complaints about toxic environments. As revealed in an internal memo sent out, Wana Media has retained an outside consultant to interview current and former Ellen um, employees about their experience working on the popular daytime syndicated talk show. As reported by Variety, the investigation follows a recent BuzzFeed report alleging a toxic work culture based on anonymous testimonials by one current and 10 former employees who said they faced racism, bullying, and intimidation. Hmm. Well, <sighs> this, this, this is crazy though, but I think it's applicable in every workplace. There's something called office politics and it's not about being toxic, it's about how you manage it, although some attitudes are also not acceptable. Did you reach the kind of statement that um, some of those... Yeah, like um, your hair, that um, I, I mistook you for another black person mm -hmm. because of your hairstyle and stuff like that. So what I'm saying is that um, in every environment, there's always toxicity, so it's not like it's new. So it's how you choose to manage your environment that really counts. But it doesn't mean it is acceptable. That was where I was getting to. That it doesn't mean it is acceptable. And it is high time that people start calling out because things need to be done right. The fact that you work in a certain place doesn't mean you should um, be treated less and all that. So it's not just it's not just something that is new, but it's how we've been keeping silent about it that has been the problem. So I'm glad that a lot of these employees are beginning to talk, and maybe this will set an example for other work environments like that, where you have to work with people in production, in management, and then you look down on some people because of their certain roles and stuff like that. I think every human deserves to be treated properly, so... That's just the bottom line. Yeah. So I like the way they're going about this because it will set a precedence and then other work. Look at, the, um, for instance, what's doing Wade's wife's name? Um, the actress. Gabriel it? Union. Gabriel Union. Okay. When she complained about America's Got Talent and now they used to smoke during sets, which is not allowed in that place, and how um, a lot of people were being treated, racism, race, um, slow comments and all that. So I think it's something that it has become a trend now. So people are beginning to pay attention to the workplace, our people being treated in such environment, because it's really important, especially when you need productivity of your staff. I like um, how the story um, is going. I like that this is not exactly an Ellen issue. Mm. It is just the people that are working in the place. And mm. of course, because she is the face of the show, her name, her name is the name of the show. Mm. So everything still revolves around her. But when you, I mean, when you look at the headline at face value, you think it's about her Ellen, yeah. and if she has done something wrong to someone working with her mm. or for her. But um, I'm happy that's not the case. I'm also happy that the producers of the show are taking responsibility mm -hmm. and um, they are not trying to act like they don't know what is going on. Mm. They say it is their responsibility to take care of people that work um, with them or for them and they are going to do everything within their own power to cooperate and make sure that people working with them don't feel this way. So that's, I think that's a good side of the story for me because no one is trying to push the blame or around mm -hmm. or bring somebody down. They're owning up to it. And I'm hoping that this um, investigation by the um, private consultants, of course, by Wana mm -hmm. Media would help set the record straight and mm. maybe have some level of standard of procedure or standard of working environment that would help people feel okay. Because like you said, aside to your house, as an adult, you spend most of your time at work. So mm -hmm. what happens in your work environment would definitely affect your mental health. And it's, it's just um, amazing for people to be able to even call their workplace another home for them, exactly. basically. All right, so moving on to the next story. Tokyo Makinwa denies reports that her Banana Island house has been seized by Amcom. In a statement released by her publicist, it says Ms. Makinwa is the sole owner of the property in Banana Island. 
I just, I wish you the best of luck on this one because um, mm. I just... So Why do I feel like this response from her is making me think that, okay, something is really up? Because I think if there is nothing extraordinarily going on, the kind of response that will come from Tokyo Marking Austin will probably have the letterhead of a law firm. It would have been a calculated response. But I, I mean, this is my own personal opinion. I feel like this was just a, a response to say, you know what, let's just put something out there. Let it not be like we are quiet and it's true, right? So who can do it? Let you do it. You are the publicist. You can put it out there and people will pick it up. Because I feel like if this is absolutely untrue, I kind of think that I know how Toke Makema would respond to something like this. Um, in different situations, you may think you know how somebody would respond, but... When certain things look, so especially when it's something that doesn't bother you, I don't know if it's true. I'm not it doesn't saying bother to care. no, no. I'm not Trust saying it. no, no. I'm not saying this is true. Whether mm -hmm. house was um, was under receivership by Amcon or whether or not she's still there, but whatever it is, um, let's just believe what a publicist <laughs> is is putting out there uh -huh. and that this is true. So if this is actually true, that I mean possession of a property that a lot of people have been claiming on social media that has been taken this is probably the kind of response i would give and mm. it's probably because do we even have to respond and the publicist just say can we just do this so maybe this is not even state this is just something of okay just give them what they want because i'm i can't be bothered right. especially when i'm in mm, my right. house okay i mean i was speaking to a friend yesterday i mean this conversation came up and he was talking about how of course it is quite possible that it is her house and but whoever she bought it from or however she got the property they've not had enough time or have not paid enough attention into making sure that the documentation has, has been, been done completely properly. done and maybe also removed from the documentation mm. that um, makes the house um, a property of the person she bought it from or she got it from. So, I mean, it's it's a dicey situation, but like I said yesterday, I wish her all the best. I know she, her baby girl life is not hindered, so I'm happy for her. Baby girl, that will not put its name on properties. That one, baby girl. Baby girl for life. You Tea time that? continues <laughs> right after <laughs> this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I they see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So, so DK clarifies the alleged Dubai arrest in an Instagram interview. She revealed that she had a face-off with Dubai authorities, not because of drugs or any other thing that has been associated with her, but because a guard called her a prostitute in Arabic language. Okay, so I think any woman would go off that, especially in a foreign country where you don't know my also I came for holiday and probably I haven't like I, I didn't even like the fact that she said um, she wasn't dressed as such is there a certain dressing for prostitutes mm. like even if well it's 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 a it's an Islamic country we have to remember that though on the story but at the end of the day too I don't think it's even okay regardless of how you dress for any woman to be addressed as a prostitute so um, I think any woman has the right to go off, but getting physical, that's a no-no. <laughs> but mm -hmm. yeah, and um, 
It made sense, even if it's not true. The so even if it's not no, true. No, no, I'm saying because we know Tonto now. It's not. It's just you know Tonto as a liar. We, we, we know. I'm, I didn't say that. To but for you to watch, say you know Tonto you know now, now. As Tonto, what? Tonto is a drama queen. She so, says so it. So she can lie sometimes. She, to create she the even drama. tells you that she can create the drama just to stay. So maybe this is all one of those. But even if this is one of those drama creations. Uh, it, it makes is, sense. It, it's a making sense drama creation. Okay, we like cool. we like that one. Okay, I like that she's coming out to talk about this now. All the while it happened, remember we tried mm. to reach out to her as well, and she wasn't talking mm. um to anyone. So I like that she's clearing the air. I also like that um she's been for this is the same interview where she says she's forgiving everyone, including her mm. ex husband, and that mm. she's moving on. The interesting part for me was when she said that she um she didn't talk about it much because she has a home in Dubai and she also wants to. Freely yes, like, get cannot just be that she wants 100. to be able to freely get into um the country, country when she yeah. wants and i'm like That's cool. what I, mean. I mean i i like how nigerians can respect the laws and authorities in other countries but when when we come back to nigeria we don't care like i must know someone that knows someone will, to help me get my house back and i'll get it to my house mm. nobody's going to do anything about it uh, but i mean i like that she's addressing the issue anyway yeah Making sense. Like and the part where she says she's forgiving everyone, I hope that um, she's not going to remember to come and talk about any other thing again, that she really holds on to the forgiveness because she put up a post after that um, interview went viral and she reiterated that, yes, she wants to forgive everyone because of herself and not for anyone else and not because anyone asked for forgiveness but because she needed peace for her life and her own happiness. And I think that's one thing um, that can be emulated from her right now and and that's actually key as well because um when you have grudges against these people i can imagine living a life where i have like 20 people that mm -hmm. i'm beefing at the same time I like mean, if i see this person, person is stressful yeah it's stressful like i see you i can't greet you i see you i can't talk to you i have this against you you have this against me mm -hmm. we see each other you know all that negativity can actually affect your mental health True. so you know forgiveness is something that a lot of people take for granted mm -hmm. and um you just need to let things go mm -hmm. even if you don't ever forget just forgive and be like it's human nature like yeah I it, mean, it will happen constantly it's mm. not it's not going to stop people today. always hurt you yeah it's just not going to stop today it's, it's not going to stop we're tomorrow human. We we're all, all uh, human and we all make mistakes yeah. And it's, it's, it's not bad for relationships or friendship to come to an end, but that cordialness needs to mm. be there. You don't have to see someone going by. You just need to be careful if you know this person. Your heart will start way. going up and down. You will just die unnecessarily. So, That's you know what? It's, it's okay for things to end, but still be cordial, basically. At least say hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, singer Sefa, of course, she's a Ghanaian singer, shares sentiments on support for female artists in Ghana. She says they are only supported when they expose their body. Um, of course, she reviewed this in an interview, and I liked how um, the guy in the interview, the last question, I don't know if you saw it, where she, mm. he was trying to make an example and saying that sometimes um, some of these women that are being talked about actually go a step further to make sure that they are being talked about by... Um, Personally. Getting the services of a blogger or a PR person to ensure that whatever they put out there is being picked upon. And the person advised that those who feel like they are, um, they are not being written about because they are not showing their body should probably employ the services of a PR person mm. or a blogger. Because I don't want to think that this is just all a and all way is of, of looking right because mm. i mean we have bringing it back to nigeria have someone like omar Umi, who makes the news where she says something that needs to make the news mm -hmm. we have someone like waji who makes it of course the same way um even yemi alade you won't mm. say yemi alade is exposing anything the Tiwa only Savage. person that really exposes right now is tiwa Savage that you just mentioned mm. so i don't think that's a criteria maybe that's a ghana thing i'm not in ghana so i, I wouldn't know i think but, i think i think it's it's a conversation that's been up for a while now it's not just today when we talk about how um the ladies the video vixens and mm. music videos are the ones exposed and the guys are fully clothed and all of that mm. but um obviously we know um what's it called now sex sells when it comes to the showbiz Fact. business mm -hmm. and um it's it's a way that the directors think well we're going to make money we're going to get more views so it's not good to objectify women in that manner, though, by saying that, okay, you need to show your body for this to go. But I think it's kind of applicable to men. But what is the ratio? It's also very little. We have a lot of men that model 
different exposing things as well but we don't really get to talk about that it's not like most of them are comfortable about it but because the percentage is small but at the end of the day talking about artists not selling like that guy that guy was 100 when he asked that question yeah. because if you really want to be spoken about if you want to go for let your talents and let all the things you're good at show for you but because a lot of women have also accepted that stereotypical way of thinking that unless we expose our body then they go ahead and then they fall into that pit as well and then they start saying and eh, but that's the only way i'm going to be talked about that's the only way i'm going to get views i'm going to get stream so i think it's just for a, every woman in the industry to take a stand but and decide it seems like most of them really. enjoy it because even when they are not doing music video and the director is not asking them you still see the one that will go and hold that daughter in that same a son in that same Ghana naked saying that this is the way i got you to the oh, world good. And, uh, so did anybody <laughs> beg that one to go nude so let's be real on this one you feel me okay so when when are you going topless on tea time i mean when i hit the gym oh, okay. I, i'm a work in progress like okay do while he thinks of when to hit the gym let's go on a very quick break and when we come back we have one more story to discuss Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Once a married man starts cooking for his wife, he has lost his dignity as a man. And this is coming from a fake book, Facebook user. Fake book, <laughs> he's a fake guy. I was <laughs> going to say what the blog said, Nigerian man, but nah, that's too. I think Nigerian men are, are, are kind of. Too. I think Nigerian men enjoy cooking actually. Mm -mm, let's not let's not even start getting up okay, on that. Okay, Nigerian maybe, men, okay, it's not like it's not like they're plenty like that. It, uh, maybe I shouldn't generalize. But it. why I'm being, I'm happily saying what I'm saying the way I'm saying it is not because I think that yeah, there aren't men who think the way this Iwe Iwe go, what is his name, thinks. It's Igot. just that. What is Iwe good? It's just that I have met too many, in fact, all the whole men I know in my life, they, they cook, they right? cook. They, in fact, they cook for me, they love to cook, so ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me, I cook for them. <laughs> 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 it's okay. This life, no balance. But why do you think a lot of men still have this type of uh, mindset? Um... I don't know. It's the patriarchal system. It's what we grew, um, a, a lot of kids grew up seeing. They, mm -hmm. they saw their mothers in the kitchen. They saw their fathers reading newspapers waiting for food to be ready. So um, it's something that has an embedded in our brain one way or another. So it's more like, ah, my, I'm the one that goes to work. I'm the one that so you should do the cooking. But like if, if, in, in this modern world, that is not applicable because trust me, I cook my Indomie. Oh. Pay me for advert for calling out your brand for that one though. But um, I cook my noodles, right? The way I like it. And no woman will probably cook it better. Hmm. That's no, that's a fact. Brag it. No, 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 that's a fact. Brag it. And then if I want to eat noodles and I'm with my woman, of course I will step into the kitchen, I'll cook noodles. It doesn't change my dignity. If my woman is stressed out, why exactly is the man's dignity tied to cooking though? That's what I'm saying is dumb. And I'm saying, no, that's what I'm going for though. That. And if my woman is stressed out or she's tired or for some reason I want to give her breakfast in bed or I want to treat her good and I'm like, okay, baby, you must well, be so tired good. and stressed no, out. Can't you just enter the kitchen and cook? Are you must you tackle, must cooking is a survival skill Wait, it is now. what every uh, human being should be able to do i'm trying to give can, those that are thinking about it to... reasons why they can do it before i let you know that it is okay this is something where they said when when it comes to cooking in the kitchen just cooking in the kitchen is a woman's thing but majority of the chefs we have a male in the world are male so when it comes to making money from that cooking skill it becomes a man's job why is that so 
Um, same thing I said earlier, the mm. patriarchal system. Um, but at the end of the day, it's okay for a man to cook. If you want to eat whatever, go into the kitchen. That's why the kitchen is there. Is they did not write kitchen for women. It's mm. just called a kitchen. Yeah. Anybody can walk in there, cook. Whether it's a male, whether it's a female, but whatever it is, whatever rocks your boat. But another thing we need to consider is that a lot of men do not know how to cook as well. So women and I think they need to well. learn. It's not something bad like that. No, but, but at the end of the day, men need to, to, learn to learn as well. And I think it's a very romantic gesture when a man knows how to cook for mm. a woman. I think it melts a lot of women's hearts. Mm. So if you've been finding, if you've been finding My it heart difficult, is melted down already. <laughs> if you've been finding it <laughs> difficult to find love, or you're finding a way to get into a woman's heart, you know. Dr. Love on the show, you know, telling you But now. most times, um, the people that know how to cook well are Yoruba demons. It's part of their strategies. But anyway, not getting into Well, like she said, the, that, that's a circle, Yoruba demons. Right. So now we know. So I just want to say to you that cooking is a survival skill. So whether you are a man, you're a woman, or whatever gender you like to be, um, what's the word now? called or recognized as you are supposed to be able to know how to cook and mm. if you can't then there are a lot of services that would help you put food on your table so it is there not as well yeah it is not to. a woman thing it is not something that is tied to your dignity it's just ridiculous that you think the fact that you enter the kitchen to maybe boil water i mean there's just thing to do is going to take away your dignity is your dignity that fragile is it I, I don't know i don't know so i'm hoping that a lot of men are not on this table and that they they would be able to speak to their fellow men have good conversations i think that's the only thing i like about the men's club series mm. how they actually have um sincere conversations with themselves when they go for their drinking and their mm. hangouts and i think more men should do that and i think a lot of men that do that right now mm -hmm. that they just don't focus on but um what should you do mm -hmm. all right so at the end of the day i think um, men should just take a cue from this post and learn how to cook okay cool and that's how i wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and do send your opinions via whatsapp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa also watch tea time on out to tv and in london on ben television my thank you will go to my interesting co-anchor ife uluwa yeah, thank you for doing this that's the only me today <laughs> it's only me and the entire production team my name remains elsie godwin please do stay safe